Hello, welcome. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Tarot. I do daily tarot readings for our YouTube crowd. If you found me today, then this tarot reading is for you. Every day we ask the cards, what are our opportunities for today? This will be a reading for Tuesday, December 7th. Tuesday, December 7th. What are our opportunities for Tuesday, December 7th? Um, if I do do daily readings, if you like what you see here, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you will not miss any of our daily readings. Let's see what the cards have to say for Tuesday, December 7th. First card for the day, Two of Rods. Two of Rods indicates we've come to a crossroads here. We need to make a decision. Uh, the rods are our activities, are our passions. We're following our passions. We've been following a path. Now we're a little bit unsure as to which way to go. Uh, we're not sure we go up or down, left or right. So uh, this early in the day, we're going to be faced with a little bit of confusion. Um, but I think it'll work out fine later on in the day. All right, the next card is going to be the tower. Tower indicates a sudden change of things. Uh, this is a change of something that was uh, built on a bad foundation, uh, but this is a shock to you. Whatever changes here comes quickly, like, like a lightning bolt, and it comes uh, fast, and it does disrupt you. Um, this, uh, the, but that's all right. This tower was built on a false foundation, on bad foundations. It was built on lies, so it really was, was going to come down one way or the other anyway. Better to come down earlier rather than later. Third card for the day is the King of Swords. The King indicates you have uh, the King's energy inside you. Uh, you're very, um, you're able to communicate very clearly. Your swords are your thoughts. You're very strategic thinking. You can see very clearly as to what's going on. Um, you're strate thinking strate strategically about how to proceed. Probably once this tower fell, uh, you had to take some, uh, some steps, use your thoughts, uh, use your strategic thinking and figure out what to do. The strategic thinking will also help you with the Two of Rods card. Um, he's very good at making decisions. He's very good at seeing the big picture. So use your King's energy midway through today to help you make some decisions. Fourth card is the Queen of Pentacles. Later in the day, you have the Queen's energy. She's full of life. She's full of love. She's full of nature. Uh, the pentacles are your is nature, your, your money. Uh, it's also your comfort. Uh, so late in the day, you're very comfortable. You have uh, the queen's very influential. She doesn't tell people what to do. They do they do things for the queen because they want to please her. Um, so you're late in the day. You have the queen's energy inside. You're feeling very happy. You're feeling very full. You're very, feeling very comfortable. You're comfortable with your nature. You're comfortable with your money. Um, and you're able to influence people uh, just by your smile and your charms. Last card for the day is the Five of Rods. Five of Rods usually indicates there's some type of hassles going on during the day or some friendly competition. Um, this isn't a big deal. This is usually a friendly competition. Everybody's smiling around here. These guys are just arm wrestling. Um, so this is just some hassles late in the day. You should be able to overcome these fairly easily and get on, uh, get on with your evening. So for Tuesday, it looks like you have some decisions to make early on. You're not quite sure exactly which way to go. Um, you're sitting there, you're thinking about things. It looks like the decision may be made for you. A tower indicates a sudden change of things. Something that you thought was strong, something you thought was well built, collapses. Um, it's upsetting, but it's good that this collapses. The tower indicates that whatever collapsed or whatever is failing was built on fa a false foundation or built on lies. So it was going to fall anyway. It's better to fall sooner rather than later. When it does fall, you use your king's energy. You don't panic. You're able to plan. You're able to see exactly what's going on. You're able to understand why the tower fell. Um, I think this also, the king's energy also helps you make some decisions here. Whatever decision you had to made, had to make either gets made for you by the tower falling or once the tower falls, the king's energy takes over inside of you. You're able to see very clearly and know which direction to go and know how strategically to proceed. Later in the day, you feel good. You feel very comfortable. You feel very influential. Uh, you're comfortable with your money. You're comfortable with your surroundings. You're comfortable when you're in nature and you're feeling very good. Um, and people uh, like to see you and spend time with you. Late in the day is going to end up with a little bit of a hassle. Uh, this isn't a big deal. This is a friendly, a friendly competition or a minor disagreement. It's something that resolves fairly quickly. Um, everyone's supporting you in this, um, so it looks like you're going to come out on the, the positive side of this friendly competition. So that's it for Tuesday, December 7th. 
don't forget uh, D-Day, or not D-Day, <laughs> that was the day that uh, the uh, Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th. My name's Chuck, I do daily readings, we'll see you tomorrow.